Well, welcome and congratulations on becoming a series regular. Um, where were you when you found out the news? When did I find out? Um, uh, sometime in June. I think it was mid-June I found out that they were going to be making me a series regular, and I couldn't be happier. It's, it's such a, an amazing group of people to be a part of, so it was um, something that I was hoping for, and, you know, you cross your fingers enough times, things happen. And did you feel as though your dynamic on the show or your feelings towards how you're approaching this new season for Chicago Fire changed now that you are a series regular? Um, I don't think so. I think, I, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Like I'm going to, I prep the same way. I still, you know, go after, you know, being Sam as, as much as I always have. I think I'm, I'm probably just aware of like the nuance that comes with this season. I feel like there's a little more nuance happening with the character in general. And so super excited to explore that. I was going to say, like when you started getting the scripts for the new season, you know, for so for since the 11 season, you've been, you know, just reoccurring and stuff. And now you actually get to dive into your character. You get to now really mm -hmm. feel like you're developing them. So did you feel like you were in a better place because you had been a reoccurring character before? Or were you like, yeah. this is kind of a brand new feeling? No, I think it, it, you know, it feels like steady as she goes. Like it, it feels like it was already in the works, you know. I feel like because of the development that the writers have given Sam, that uh, it felt like, oh man, the base is there. Like the foundation is there. Now it's like, we get to kind of dig into, like I said, the nuance of like, you know, why he is who he is, what he um, relies on when it comes to how he deals with people. Um, it's, uh, it's really exciting. Yeah. And what would you say you're the most exciting thing you're, will, you're ready to explore for Sam? Um, oh man. Like, how do I, how do I talk about it? I think it's just about how he deals with his own kind of like how he deals with how he uh, deals with his boundaries. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of, he, he's generally pretty good in like the firehouse because of how amazing the rest of the firehouse is around him. Like the boundaries have come down and, you know, sometimes that's good. And sometimes that can like leave you vulnerable. I think, you know, as we left off last season, like there was a, there was a lot of vulnerability put out there and to you know to feel like a little bit of uh, that sting you know as he goes off to furlough um was it was hard so it's like how does how does he deal with with the the boundary thing and like being healthy in that whole situation and you even said it with the boundaries and stuff he's kind of had walls up this entire time and then the final mm -hmm. you know like you said the last the finale episode we do get to see those walls drop a little there's a bit more vulnerability um mm -hmm. and that kind of led me to believe like we might kind of start learning more about how those walls even came about so learning more about his past like do we get to at least learn a bit more about his past as the season starts and progresses yeah you're definitely going to see some of his past um in a great way um I, i'm excited to like show you guys like uh, I, I don't really say too much more but like you're gonna get to know a little bit more about who he is and where he come came from and that's not the only thing obviously you becoming a series uh regular that's changing this season the firehouse has a new chief so how mm -hmm. does that change the dynamic of of the season and everybody coming in and now you know like you said there's a brand new chief in town so the thing everything's gonna change yeah, yeah i i uh i think it's hard i mean one you know, Chief Bowden, Eamon, like not only a presence on screen as the character, but also off. So like, there's definitely a loss, you know, we feel with that. Um, but their thing is correct. Like he, he created the firehouse. He's the dynamic maker, you know, and thankful, thankfully he put in a lot of leadership time to allow this, this group of people to grow as a cast and as the characters on the show. Um, so excited that he's still out there, you know, in, in the Chicago fire world. But Chief Pascal, man, comes in, totally different guy than Chief Chief Bowden. Uh, you know, he's got to make his own his own way, too. He's, he comes in hot. He's breaking kind of how we normally do things, which, you know, as a logical person, I can understand. But as someone who's, like, solidified in Firehouse 51, you're like, well, do we have to do it? I mean, we got a pretty good working order, my guy. So... You know, it's been it's been interesting to see how Dermot comes in. He's been such a great addition. He fits right into the group. You know, he he uh, he gives David a run for his money. So like, it, it's perfect. 
I was going to say, because, I mean, you just said it with the, you know, you don't want to broke a, you know, break a system that's already working. So, you know, is Sam going to have a little bit of a tough time with this? Or is this going to be more so, like you said, you know, with you coming on as a series regular, you don't break what's broken. Yeah, yeah. I think, um, I think there'll be moments, you know, like, like anything changes sometimes hard. Uh, but I think he also brings in a, an aspect that allows for, for good growth for the whole group. You know what I mean? I'm excited to see how he pushes us to be, uh, to like, you know, raise the stakes. And I think so far that's what he's done. Like everything just feels like a, a, a little more pressure in a, in a great way. Mm -hmm. And then to kind of spin a little bit off of uh, pressure, I would be wrong not to ask this, but about the relationship between Sam and Violet. How, right. how, because fans are very excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> how do we see yeah. that grow as the season goes on? Well, I mean, you know, like I said, he, uh, he, he let the walls down. Um, and you can take what you, what you may from like that last interaction, but it was enough to where he felt like he had to head off on another furlough. So I think there was some hurt there. Um, but the new season picks back up. Violet's ready, you know, to like figure it out. And so we'll have to see what happens. I was going to say, do we think Sam's going to figure it out? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think there's all sorts of things that Sam's going to figure out. That's for sure. <laughs> and what would you think is the most complicated part of bringing Sam to life, especially in this new season? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's uh, Sam. Like, I I, don't, I hate to hit on the same thing, but I, I do feel like as far as Jake goes, like, I feel a little bit more, uh, I don't have the best boundaries sometimes. So for me and bringing Sam to life, it's about it's about how to, like, put up earnest boundaries with people and, and believe in them. You know, I think a lot of people on the onset were like, you know, is this guy a jerk? Is he just, you know, kind of hard nosed and not willing to, like, give in? And I think it's Personally, I think it's like, no, he has some healthy boundaries. He's like, well, you haven't earned the right to everything in my life, you know, especially when it comes to the scar and like the trauma that that has caused in his life. So I think really the hard part is like, where do those boundaries blend and where do they stay strong? You know, as a, as a care, as a person playing a person, you don't want to ever, um, one, give in to the future. You have to live in their present. And he, he's, he's really, um, created a good challenge for me to like stay in the present with him, not only present as an actor in the moment, but also as a, as a character, like where is Sam in his timeline? Because we know a little bit of what, about what's going on down the line, but we don't know a whole lot. So I have to stay focused on letting it be where he is. Um, and that can be a challenge. And would you say that's something that you've taken away from playing Sam as being in the present more often? Um, I mean, luckily I'm a pretty present person. Like I don't feel like, uh, that's something I, I venture away from just because as a person, I think it's kind of the key to like a lot of happiness in life. Uh, anytime you're in the past or in the forward, you know, or in the future, you're, you're kind of not allowing yourself to fully express things. You're kind of building on anxiety in my opinion. <laughs> uh, so I, I, I think I'd like to think that I live a lot in the present, um, but in but with Sam, like I think understanding where where those um, as an actor, where you have to live, uh, like I said, between where is the character at and where are we going? Mm -hmm. Because you got to be where they're at. Otherwise, the, there's nothing there for them to grow through. Mm -hmm. And for this season, is there any character that you haven't gotten the chance, Sam, you know, Sam hasn't gotten the chance to spend time with or have scenes with that you either want to see them have scenes with or you've had the opportunity to do scenes with um there definitely are like i don't know if i uh <laughs> i don't know exactly what i can talk about when it comes to that but there are definitely people in the firehouse that um i won't say names just because i don't want to ruin anything for you guys but that he that we didn't see him interact with and that there will be a growing relationship with both um not only as a friendship but also as someone who's going to push back uh and i'm really excited about that you'll know once the episodes start airing who I'm talking about, but there's someone who um, in life, me, and also on the show uh, as Sam, that, you know, someone that kind of like is willing to say, hold up, bro. Like, let me just like ask you a few things. Let me see if I can correct some stuff for you, which is what it's about. How do we sharpen each other? Yeah. And then also the same exact time though, it's also, you know, building a much 
bigger foundation on the on the relationship mm. that you have with your cast as well. So how has that been for you to be able to, you know, know that you're going to have more time with the cast, you're going to have more time to develop this already amazing chemistry that you guys have already established? Mm -hmm. Well, I think one of the lucky things about this group is like when they come, when you come in and they, they, they know you're going to be here for a while, um, even if it's not as a regular, they welcome you with open arms. I've said it a bunch of times, but, you know, Eamon and Miranda, so we, I met them first, uh, the first day I was on set and they both welcomed me with open arms, you know, to the point where it's like, hey, if you need something, we're the people you call. You know what I mean? We're here on the ground with you. Um, inevitably, you're going to need something. So whether it's just a shoulder to hang with or someone to like ask advice of who's already been through a lot of the trials that one would go through. Um, so I, I feel lucky in that I've been welcomed in so, so uh, earnestly and warmly. And at the same time, like as time goes, we always develop more. So being able to like hang with everyone on the cast, I mean, there's no one on the cast that I haven't spent excellent time with. And uh, I, I just feel really grateful for that. And why do you think after 13 seasons, fans keep tuning in? I think it's because of that. I mean, not only do, is the writing continuously getting better and what, the fact that the, the writers are able to come up with what they do, like they're scouring news articles to find things because all of our stuff is based on things that happen in real life. Like they're based in reality. That's why, you know, it, uh, it's stranger than fiction, right? Because there's some crazy stuff that happens in the world. So, you know, they're always bringing something new. Um, and I think also like in a firehouse, what you'll see, if you ever go and visit a firehouse here in Chicago specifically, I'm sure it's like this, you know, over all over the world, but like for us specifically, it is a family. Like that's no, that's not BS. Like they are really there for each other, whether sometimes it's for the good and sometimes for the bad, they're always there for each other. And the way this cast welcomed me in and the way they embraced themselves when they first came here, I know that they, um, I know that's why, like that dynamic comes across on the screen. And then speaking of Chicago, um, when you guys are filming, you know, even, well, when you guys aren't filming, what are you doing with your time, especially when it's very, very cold in Chicago? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to really uh, learn what, what keeps you sane. You know, I'm a, I practice martial arts. I, I, uh, I play a lot of golf. Um, I play music. So, you know, and kind of diving into those things, uh, has been really like how I, how I stay sane. Uh, again, the group here, you kind of just, we hang out together as well. So like living with them, uh, in the same area really helps my partners here as well. So having her here is really amazing. Just being able to spend time with her in the off time is going to be super helpful as well. And speaking of music, um, this mm -hmm. is kind of a two part question. Are we ever going to see Sam kind of bring out the, his, maybe a musical side? <laughs> Hey, I'd be down. I mean, it might be a little out of character for him <laughs> to, I mean, to be suddenly. You, you brought up the vulnerability, so. No, it's true. I mean, sometimes that's a great way to do it. Write a song to share your feelings. But I mean, I'd be open to it if they want to do it for sure. Uh, I think it might be a little out, out of left field. Maybe it's a surprise thing that we find him with a guitar in his closet at his apartment or something. Um, just crooning away. But I I'd be so, I'd be down. Let's let's go. Let's let's bring some music to the to the madness. We'll have a good time. Exactly. And then also, you know, what is going on for you with music right now? Are you you know mm -hmm. still writing? What what exactly is going on in the world of music? Uh, not. I haven't done a whole lot of writing. I've actually been. Uh, <laughs> I haven't been doing too much of it, to be honest. Right now, though, that's it's literally. I, I just moved into a new place, and so as I get things set up, I have a music room and things like that. So there's going to be a little bit more that you see, uh, especially on social media from me. Um, you know, there's a Christian is a big musician and we definitely have had talks about writing some songs together. So you might see some stuff sooner than later. Oh, that would be awesome. I like, didn't even yeah. think about that. That would be great. <laughs> yeah. Him, Miranda, Daniel. Yeah. Uh, I mean, really, you know, Hanako has an amazing voice as well. The group you, we've got a surprising amount of musicians on this show. I was going to say, you could have a whole Chicago Fire musical episode at this point. <laughs> hey, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. We could always have it. Yeah. I was going to say, if the strangest shows have musical episodes, Chicago Fire could probably make it work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's interesting. I mean, you know, we'll see. I could see it happening. There, there, there's definitely some strength.
strange episode uh, TV episodic TV out there where someone is like suddenly in song in the midst of a drama scene. So why not? You're like, this doesn't make any sense, but somehow it does. So yeah. How am I so intrigued? <laughs> okay. So for my final question, why should mm-hmm. fans tune in this season? Man, uh, I think if you tune in this season, especially if you've even had a taste of the show before this, you're going to see everything just get brought up. Like the with Pascal coming in, uh, you know, the fact that Severide has a brother now um, to every relationship on the show. Uh, I feel like things get complicated and that's life, you know, so you're going to get to see a lot of like that hard life stuff that we love about our show, uh, as well as the action. I, I can't believe what we do on a, on a weekly basis. We create an action movie every week. So if you want to see action and like have it brought home with heart, like this is the place to be. Nice. Well, thank you, Jake, so much for taking your time this afternoon to speak. Yeah. And I can't wait for everyone to see the new season.